formal charge is a charge assigned to an atom in a molecule or polyatomic ion based on how many electrons the atom owns compared to its neutral state. This helps us understand or visualize the electron charge density in a molecule. Formal charge is important in understanding stability of resonance structures and in determining mechanisms of reactions. The formula to find formal charge for an atom is to start with the number of valence electrons in the neutral atom, then subtract the number of non-bonding electrons, then subtract one electron from each bonding pair. These are the electrons the atom owns. Let's start with a simple example of finding the formal charge for oxygen in water. Neutral oxygen has six valence electrons in its valence shell. The oxygen in water owns the two lone pairs of electrons. Thus, we subtract four non-bonding electrons. Finally, let's visualize the covalent bonds as a shared pair of electrons. The oxygen owns one of the electrons in each shared pair. Hydrogen owns the other electron. They share these electrons to satisfy the octet rule for oxygen and the duet rule for hydrogen. Therefore, we can subtract one electron from each bonding pair, in this case, two electrons from two bonding pairs, and the formal charge is zero. Before moving on, it's worth taking a moment and discussing the formal charges on hydrogen in molecules. Simply put, the formal charge will always be zero for hydrogen when hydrogen forms a covalent bond. You can see here that hydrogen can only form one covalent bond because it follows the duet rule. It can only accommodate an electron pair. Now let's look at oxygen in the hydronium ion. Again, neutral oxygen has six valence electrons. I'll subtract two for the two non-bonding electrons, then subtract three, which represents one electron for each of the three bonds. And the formal charge is plus one. We'll add a positive symbol inside of a circle near the atom with the formal charge. A final word on the hydronium polyatomic ion. Notice the sum of the formal charges equals the net charge on the polyatomic ion. The hydrogen formal charges are zero and the plus one on the oxygen is the net charge for the hydronium ion. Let's do one last example. Here is one resonance structure we saw earlier for dinitrogen monoxide. Take a moment and find the formal charges for each atom. I'll give you a few seconds to pause this video. For the left nitrogen, we'll start with five valence electrons, then subtract two non-bonding electrons and three shared electrons in the covalent bonds. This gives a formal charge of zero. Next, for the middle nitrogen, we'll start with five valence electrons, then subtract zero. This nitrogen has zero non-bonding electrons. Then I'll subtract four shared electrons in the covalent bonds. This gives a formal charge of plus one. And finally, for the oxygen, we'll start with oxygen's six valence electrons then subtract six for the non-bonding electrons, then subtract one shared electron for the one covalent bond. This gives us a formal charge of minus one. In organic chemistry, we want to be able to identify formal charges quickly. To do this, we should learn the trends in formal charges. In our next lecture, we'll cover the formal charge trends for second row elements, carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen.